what's up everyone welcome back to my channel now let's make this delicious festive bread so here are the ingredients i'll be using i have some sugar some yeast some salt some softened butter some bread flour we'll be needing some food coloring and of course some warm milk I'm just going to start off by poofing my yeast to my milk. I'm going to add the sugar and the yeast and allow this to poof for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, this is what my yeast be looking like, nice and foamy. And if your yeast is not looking like this, it's not good and you need to start again. So I'm just going to pour my milk mixture to my stand mixer. And I'm just going to go ahead and add the flour. And if you don't have a stand mixer, you could certainly do this by hand. I'm going to start my mixer on low so the flour don't go all over the place and I'm going to mix until everything comes into a ball. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my softened butter and I'm going to mix on medium until everything is fully combined and the dough is nice, soft and stretchy. Now this is what your dough to be looking like and guys it might look sticky but this is exactly the texture you want the dough to have. The softer the dough, the softer your bread. I'm going to cover for 10 minutes and allow it to come together before moving on to the next step. Now I'm just going to scrape this out onto my mat and I'm going to separate this into three sections and I'm going to add my food coloring and then I'm going to allow it to rise. And of course, at this point, if you want, you could add the food color and add back the, the dough to the mixer and allow it to mix. But I want to get in a little workout, so I'm just going to mix this in by hand. So here I'm using gel food color and I add a little bit at a time to achieve the color I want. I use two drops total, two drops for the green and two drops for the red. I'm just going to mix this in until it's fully combined. Now I'm going to set this aside and allow it to poof. And I'm going to repeat the next step with the red one. Now I'm going to cover all three and allow them to rise for about 45 minutes to an hour. Now I'm just going to go ahead and assemble my bread. And here I'll be making two sets of bread so I'm just going to cut each piece of dough into half. guys if you have reached thus far and you haven't yet subscribed hit that subscription button turn on the post notification bell that says all so you never miss any of my uploads and if you like this video so far give it a big thumbs up 
onward here guys everything is self-explanatory all you gotta do is watch a watch and watch along with me Now that everything is nice and rolled out, it's time for me to assemble and show you how I achieve the swirls. I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up and then I'm going to roll as if I am making a cinnamon roll. Guys, you want to roll tightly, you want to roll, tuck and pull and you want to make sure you tuck the edges under. So I start with the white so when it bakes, because naturally you have a white looking bread so when it bakes you don't really know what's on the inside so that's why i start with the white on the outside first so it's like a surprise to you when you cut into the bread and you want to make sure that you tuck and pull and you want to make sure that you seal properly at the bottom because if you don't seal properly the bread will burst and then all the colors will start leaking out and it's not going to look cute so you want to make sure that you tuck and seal properly and then after that you're going to place the bread in the baking dish seam side down I'm going to place this in my baking dish and allow this to rise for another 30 to 35 minutes or until it's doubled or tripled in size. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the next set. Now guys, these are perfect for your holiday table. Your family will absolutely love, love, love these. And if you have guests, they will love it even more. I'm just going to go ahead and just separate these into small pieces. As I said before, everything onwards is self-explanatory. So just keep watching. Now that this is all done, I'm going to cover them and allow them to double in size as well while my oven is being preheated to 350 degrees. Now that they are ready to bake, I'm just going to go ahead and brush on some milk on the these. 
and we're going to bake this in the preheated oven of 350 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes or until everything is done the smaller ones are going to go for about 20 to 25 minutes so you want to check on them because you don't want them to be overdone After 25 minutes, this is what my flour bread is looking like. My beautiful Christmas bread. And guys, the aroma from these is so inviting. I'm going to go ahead and brush some melted butter onto this. And then I'm going to remove them from the pan and allow them to cool down. now the other one is out of the oven and this smelled amazing too i'm just gonna go ahead and brush this with some melted butter then i'm gonna remove from the pan and allow it to cool down completely now let me show you what my flour bread be looking like now guys these are soft moist pull apart beautiful these are perfect for your holiday table and these were super moist Don't these just look lovely guys? Now on to the moment of truth. I was just as excited as all of you are watching is. And now, look at that guys. Beautiful, perfect for your holiday table. And guys, the kids will actually love this one too. guys let me know down in the comment section if you would try this recipe and, and let me know what you think about this recipe and if you try this recipe you could tag me on instagram at toya's kitchen to let me see how yours turned out and of course you could mix and match with the colors And guys, to show you that I'm not joking, the next day, this is how I pair mine up. I pair mine up with an omelette, some bread, avocado, and some sausage, and a cup of hot chocolate. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next one.